Welcome to our CADNA A demonstration video. The next few minutes will take you to some of the main applications of the software, including the calculation of industrial, traffic and aircraft noise, as well as the general use for large-scale noise mapping purposes. During this tour, you'll see some of the CADNA A core features such as straightforward modeling, versatile import options and powerful calculations. Traffic noise is a huge problem in urbanized areas, and lots of effort is taken to reduce it. No matter if it's about a small-scale area or an entire city, CADNA A is an efficient tool for calculating present and future traffic noise situations. Modeling or importing roads is easy. For each road, all necessary parameters can be entered standard-specific in the Roads Edit window. And with a few clicks, you can turn a normal road into a bridge. You want to see the result in 3D? Simply press Ctrl 3 and you're in a 3D mode where you can change the parameters as easily as in 2D. You can evaluate emission for single receivers or define a grid of receivers for calculation, as done in this example. The result is shown directly in construction view and can be adapted to the desired form of representation. And if you have grids from different planning scenarios, why not simply subtract them from each other to see the difference caused by a barrier? Once you're satisfied, you can export your results and, for example, present them with Google Earth. No matter if you want to calculate equalized or maximum levels, CADNA A is also a great tool for handling railway noise. You can work with single train types or even use combinations or timetables. You're planning to construct a barrier along a road or railway? CADNA A optimizes it in a way that standard limiting levels aren't exceeded and the cost of the wall still is minimized. And afterwards, you can even show your customers pass-bys of single trains, either for single receivers, which also includes oralization, or for a whole area. Industrial noise is a major source of annoyance. Depending on the legal situation in different countries, industrial noise has to be calculated before the right to construct new plants can be granted. In CADNA A, importing or modeling the necessary sources is an easy task. Vertices can be added by simple mouse clicks or by numerical entries. All the necessary attributes can be entered in one handy edit window for each object. And it is of course also possible to import and calibrate a plan directly in CADNA A in order to accurately model or to import a self-defined part of the world from Google Earth and use it as spatially correct basis for modeling. Maybe you have a database with measured spectra and want them to be used in calculations. CADNA A supports ODBC, which makes it easy to import them directly from, for example, Microsoft Excel. ODBC doesn't only work with spectra. Most CADNA A attributes can be imported from databases. But CADNA A goes even further. Instead of entering or importing spectra, they can be calculated directly from technical parameters, such as the length and diameter of a component. With CADNA A option SET, the results can be assigned to industrial sources for emission calculation, as in this example pipe. They can also be used to calculate transmission to other elements, here for a whole pipeline. Another industrial park. As the complexity of your model increases, simple and logical data organization becomes vital. With the object tree, organizing data is easy. And it's a basis for creating variants to be used for different project stages or planning scenarios. Once your calculation parameters are set up, actual calculations can be executed with a click of a button. The results, as well as the propagation paths, are instantly visible in construction view. There is no need to start separate modules. And for each receiver, it's easy to evaluate the contribution of different sources. Calculation results can easily be checked in different ways. 
This example shows how CATNA-8 traces all the attenuation terms of all calculated octave bands for a receiver. Calculations for large areas have additional requirements for the program. CATNA-A is well suited for noise mapping purposes. For example, not only multi-threading is possible, but with the option 64-bit also the use of virtually unlimited memory. A main early step in noise mapping is data import. CATNA-A offers a huge variety of import formats. You could, for example, start importing a digital terrain model and go on with DXF for shape import, roads, railway lines, buildings. All necessary attributes are included when importing shape files. And this is a suitable base for calculating noise distribution. Do you want to speed up calculation time by using more computers? No problem with CATNA. It's possible to let the program tile the project depending on your demands. Participating PCs can automatically load and process the tiles. During the whole process, you can always check which tiles already have been computed. Let's say you have a series of measurements at a certain point, where the results differ from those you have calculated. This could be due to changing traffic amount during a day. With DynMap, Updating the CADNA A grid with the measurements is easy and doesn't require a recalculation. It's possible not only to calculate grids and single receivers, but also a distribution of receivers around buildings. The creation of these building evaluations can be done automatically for numerous buildings at once, and calculating is as easy as with single receivers. The results can even be checked in 3D. A big challenge in the noise mapping process is the evaluation of exposed inhabitants. Do it with a few clicks in CATNA's object scan. And with the same tool, you can use virtually any object attribute or calculated data for detailed analysis. For example, why not create a noise score which considers inhabitants and calculated levels and show it graphically in the project? Existing data can also be used in other contexts in CATNA A. Here, the buildings are automatically colored depending on the number of inhabitants. You want prints or PDFs of your results? Use the integrated plot designer. It allows structuring your output data in a clear and logical way, using different views and additional information. Aircraft noise is a well-regulated topic. To satisfy authorities, one needs to model and calculate with great care. CATNA enables the user to model the tracks parametrically correct and to consider all necessary aircraft groups and statistics. Or, when the data is available, simply import the whole airport with QSI. All calculations relevant for aircraft noise, like noise maps, can be done the same way as with any noise source. Additional calculations include max level distributions or, as shown here, the automatic generation of noise contours. With access to radar tracks, you can import actual flight routes to CADNA-A and use them for various purposes. Check the routes in 3D and fly along one of them. Or calculate and display their density above a certain threshold. And again, by simply exporting a KML file, you can show your results in Google Earth with just a few clicks.